Welcome folks, Posman and I have a tutorial for you today to install my patch mod for WWE 2K15. First we have to do a minor bit of cleanup here. This is a fresh install of WWE 2K15. The first thing that you want to do for any of these mods is delete this plist win32.arc file. So I'm going to just delete that. That'll make it so the game will run even with altered files. Now I'm going to open up my WWE 2K15 roster patch mod RAR and then open this WWE 2K15 folder. You can see that we have an EXE, a pack folder, and a DLC60 folder. So that'll install stuff into the DLC60, the pack folder, and then it'll add an additional EXE into the folder. So I'm just going to drag those over to my WWE 2K15 folder. Now you can see this might take some bit of time. On my computer it's going to take about 4 minutes. This is a 9 gigabyte download and by the time that you unpack it it'll be closer to 25 I believe. So we will go ahead and skip that and get right to the next step. Okay, now that all of this uh, RAR has been unpacked, you might get a replace option. Two destination files have the same names. You want to replace these files. And this will be the string.pack and will also include the misc files. Now this is going to continue extracting into my folder for one more moment. So while this uh, continues to add the last of it, I want to show you how the ch folder is set up here. Now I've added individual folders with all the mods with the names of the creators. A few uh, of these mods have multiple creators like Ade and Brave Bird. If you look up at the top there will be some folders of Tekken's mods. These will just show you what slot they are. They are not included as Tekken did not want to be a part of this mod. With mods like Scott Siner where Airy619 also created an additional mod for it. I place the Ares attires a few slots after what Scott Steiner from Tekken would have. Tekken's is still not included but you know what slot that would be and uh, this slot would use the standard POFO and uh, moveset from Tekken's mods. Now I want to show you what else this uh, this patch changed. We have the misc start uh, 01 underscore start that was, should be updated. Uh, we should also have the string.pack updated here. Uh, my save file, uh, th these files that I've created have a date that is actually before uh, I updated my game. So they have the same date of 2 26. Uh, so if you were, see you should see a different date here. I just happened to reinstall on the same day that I uh, created this RAR file. So these should all be updated. Uh, we have now deleted that ARC file. The next thing you want to do is run WWE 2K15. So I'm going to run it. And once it is running and on the main menu, you will want to run this patch installer exe. Let me view some bigger icons here. So I'm going to launch this. You can see this here. It has my logo along with the WWE logo. Now as WWE 2K15 loads up, you will need to run this patch with the game running from the main menu. Otherwise, it will not be able to edit your memory correctly and it, you will have to go and rerun it. Uh, it will remind you if you if you run it without the game running, it'll tell you to run WWE 2K15. Uh, if you are not from on the main menu, it'll tell you to run from the main menu, etc., uh, etc. Et now, sometimes this is something that you get with uh, the game. Uh, if you have changed a lot of files, the game will actually take a bit longer to load. But you can see it's loading in now. And now we just have to wait till we get to the main menu screen. So we get past these few splash screens. This is a pretty much brand new install. Uh, the only thing I've really done has been to turn off the music and uh, get through some of the EULA stuff. But otherwise I haven't really done anything with this. 
save file as of yet. Now, if you want to have Tekken's mods uh, in the game, I recommend to install them before you install this patch. The patch will rename them to the uh, right strings that are in my string file, but they will... Uh, they are not included, and if you do this patch first and then go back to Tekken's mods, they will not have the correct names. Now we're at the main menu, I'm going to run this patch installer.exe, and it should load up this little Lua engine message telling you some information. And you can see that it's installed a bunch of slots, changing Tekken's strings, and the installation is complete. Now you can close, uh, go away from that, it will freeze for a moment. And we want to go to my WWE, edit superstars. You can see that there's a bunch of stars already in here. Those will adjust, but you want to change Adam Rose's brand. And now I'm going to exit the game. After we've saved, we went to my WWE and saved, and now I'm going to quit the game. And now I'm going to run it again. Uh, restarting the game helps. Uh, I've heard that some people may need to actually restart their computer to get it to work. Uh, if you are having an issue, try that as well. Uh, that was from ALC Legacy. He had to restart his, uh, computer for it to not be, like, really laggy when he was playing. Uh, Big Red Machine said that some characters do not have the right names. If there are any issues that you have with this, please let me know and I'll try to add some sort of additional patch to fix it. Uh, it might be hard to repackage this particular patch, but uh, it, it might be easier for me to uh, create a uh, installer uh, 1.1, uh, as it were, to change a few individual numbers here and there. Now, if we want to go to my WWE and edit superstars, we will see Abyss, Aiden English, Alex Riley, Alex Shelley, Alicia Fox, Animal, Apollo Crews. Aaron Anderson, Austin Aries, etc., etc. Now let's go back to my uh, to play one on one, and now because we have the uh, DLC installed, I haven't even run the accelerator yet, but all these guys should be unlocked. So you can see most of these superstars as I go through them. They will all be in the bonus superstars menu. Uh, there's not just superstars here, there are also uh, divas. This has over, I think it's over a hundred different mods are installed here. And these will all have their own entrances and movesets already automatically installed here. So let's have a couple of ladies enter the ring real quickly just for a demonstration and, and a proof of concept that they're running. Now with these names, I've added the creator's names uh, on the selection screen. However, on the title card and during the match, you will not see that. You will only see the character's name. Like you see here, this is Lita. Uh, their Twitter handles will also just say their name. Uh, I, d I didn't have the additional strings to add Twitter handles for everyone, but I opted to just change it to what their name was. Uh, so we can see Lita making her entrance now. And we'll skip over to the next mod, which I believe was Bailey. Now they do not. This does not include additional Titantrons, or Minitrons, or anything like that, or additional music. You can add those things to the side. Uh, they, these popos and move sets were largely uh, already created by the community. So if they already had set uh, Trons or music files, you would be able to use those. Uh, any superstar that has a custom Titantron set, like you saw with Lita, Lita had a custom Titantron set in the game, but I do not have that custom Titantron installed, so you'll see that, um, video effect that we saw her walking down to the ring several times inside the Titantron. Now, if you have any problems with any individual superstars, please let me know and I'll try my best to fix it. This is a highly experimental, sort of a lead-in to WWE 2K16, as if we can get all these characters patched over to 2K16 very quickly, I would like to do so, especially the existing superstars in WWE 15, like CM Punk and Hogan, 
if you're having any problems, if you have any questions, if you need any help, please let me know in the comment section or on Smack Talks. I will be having a Bitly link and an AdFly link. Click the AdFly link if you are so inclined to to help. Uh, those will be on a Smack Talks thread, separate from this video, as uh, URL shorteners are not particularly uh, great on YouTube. It, I have had trouble in the past with several videos getting taken down, uh, as many of you may know, so I'm going to try and avoid that and add those into a thread on Smack Talks. Uh, if you enjoy this video, enjoy this patch, please let me know as well. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and have a good day. This has been Possum, and I thank you for your time.